Welcome to weekly Forex forecast from Forex Trading Wizard Academy. This is Forex Wizard, a trading coach. I will be doing a complete multi time frame analysis of all the hottest currency pairs, cryptocurrencies, and indices that you will be looking to trade next week. The list is a bit longer as usual, but don't worry, I'll put a time stamp in the description area. But I'll suggest you to watch all of them as you have seen in our previous weekly Forex forecast. Most of the pairs still exactly according to the analysis. Let's quickly look at the DXY analysis that we made in our previous weekly Forex forecast. The wave could be for this week initial drop, retest, continuation to the upside. During the news, we might see further break to this level for deeper liquidity grab. And at the end of the week, we could see that continuation to the upside. So our prediction wave for the last week was starting of the week we expect a DXY to drop and then to go back up breaking the swing high coming back down breaking the swing low and then to create a higher high. Now if you look at the current chart on DXY what do we see that this is the first last candle of the last week open with a gap the price exactly dropped to this level has gone back up has broken the swing high Again has come back down, broken the swing low and then has gone back up, created new higher high. The prediction became true exactly as it is. Now smash the like button and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't done yet. With that being said, let's begin this week's weekly Forex forecast. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, let's begin as usual with DXY as DXY will give us clear direction of the most of the USD pairs including gold and then we'll jump onto the JPY pairs as well to see how the market is doing and finally we'll look at indices. Starting with DXY, looking at the monthly time frame to see overall direction in the market. Now from the monthly we can see that DXY is a bull market. Now it is the last week of the month. We could see some pullback this month. What I think that as you can see this monthly candle already reaching this monthly resistance, which is quite significant level. What I think that DXY may try to break this monthly high with another wave to the upside before the monthly close. So you could see that DXY may come down for a deeper pull back and we could see monthly close somewhere here in that zone so from the monthly we can expect an upside movement breaking the high coming down for a deeper pull back before the monthly close now looking at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective dxy this is the weekly market is quite a few weeks we have seen significant bullish move and the price highly likely we could see also reaching that weekly resistance zone which is a very high area of value and we can expect this week for the price to go up break the high to create a new higher high and then we can expect dxy to come down for a deeper pullback so from the weekly as well we can expect an upside and then coming down for a deeper pullback before the monthly close you could see somewhere here closing as a weekly dodgy now looking at the daily time frame to see which way we can expect the XY to be heading. Now you can see this is the daily bullish channel. The market is about to break the high and we see that this is a significant level of resistance. And I think that from the daily, if you look at the last day of trading candle, which is a bullish candle, is still creating series of higher low and also higher high with a half body half week candle and we can expect dxy after a little pullback to go back up to break the high and then we can expect in the middle of the week for a deeper drop to fill this imbalance and what i think that before the monthly close we can expect for the price to go ahead and close along this zone now looking at what the lower time frame to predict the wave on dxy so what we can expect on dxy on the you know, lower time frame as you can see the market already gathered liquidity multiple times which is a potential bullish movement and what i think that 
as a result initially we can expect dxy to break this high which is the monthly resistance and then we can expect dxy to come back down even below this low or above this zone which could be in that area as there is a long weak handle and there's an imbalance in that area and what i think that from that zone we can expect dxy to go back up we might see a weekly dodgy and monthly close along this zone and after the monthly close we might see dxy coming down for even a deeper pullback in the new monthly opening so if we draw this channel here on the lower time frame on dxy what i think that as you can see this is a bull flag that was broken last week gathered liquidity and this bull flag has not has not been tested properly this is the resistance here resistance here which is turning support and i think that we might see after break of this high the sellers might come down again to retest this level either testing this level or even testing this level before the monthly close so this is the basis that we can expect on dxy for all the instrument that we will be trading this week initially dxy bullish break of the low and then going back up in that zone to close before the monthly so now let's quickly look at all the instrument that we will be trading along with many other uh, minor pairs as well so starting with now on AUD USD now looking at AUD USD on the lower time frame we'll be using the same pattern as dxy now if we this is the four hour time frame that we'll be using as a baseline time frame now if we draw that pattern on dxy we can expect initial upside coming back down to create a new lower low and before the monthly close we can expect dxy to go ahead and close as a weekly doji which can create this wave on the lower time frame now if we look at the aud usd we see that on a UD USD, there is a, this is the four hour time frame, there is a massive drop in that area and then has gone up for a pullback. And we see that a UD USD trying to create another wave respecting this dynamic resistance line. And what I think that as we are expecting initial strengthening on DXY, we can expect a UD USD, as you can see, this is the four hour time frame back to back to red candles. We might see another wave of drop. And then going back up with the weakness on dxy we can expect aud usd to go back up to test this level and from this zone with the strengthening on dxy we can expect aud usd to drop back below this level before the monthly close we might see that aud usd even breaking the swing low or closing along this zone so where we can find trading opportunity as we are expecting the market ultimately to remain bearish will be waiting for a USD to grab liquidity from this resistance above any of these candles high giving us selling opportunity along this zone we will consider going short on a USD with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at euro dollar let's see what kind of price section we have on euro dollar now as you can see if we draw this pattern on dxy initially we are expecting to go back up breaking this high and then becoming weaker on dxy breaking the swing low and then going back up to close somewhere here as a monthly or weekly dodgy now if we look at on euro dollar with the strengthening on initially on dxy we can expect euro dollar this is the four hour time frame to drop as we see that the market is creating series of lower high in that area on the market opening we can expect euro dollar to give us some selling opportunity now with that drop we could see that euro dollar coming break coming down breaking this low and what we can expect on euro dollar to break this low to create a new lower low now euro dollar can give us on the lower time frame selling opportunity breaking this low and then with the weakness on dxy that we are expecting in the middle of the week we can expect some upside momentum on euro dollar to test this zone where there is a huge imbalance with this big red candle price from this consolidation pattern after breaking this low we could see that in the middle of the week during the news announcement on euro dollar we can expect a strengthening on euro dollar to going back up most likely we could see 
a head and shoulder formation along this long week handle maintaining this high or lower high from this zone we can expect euro dollar again to come back down close along this zone so for our trading opportunity we'll wait for selling opportunity on the market opening any kind of break of this low after a very sharp rejection we'll look for buying opportunity on euro dollar if we see significant reversal pattern as the trend is down we'll most likely to wait for a selling opportunity even in this area as soon as we will find suitable and you will consider going short on euro dollar with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gbp usd now we saw that gbp was quite bearish this month whole months even quite a few weeks we might see some change in momentum on gbp usd if we look at the weekly time frame on gbp usd we can see that from the weekly perspective gbp usd is strongly bearish we have seen that with this long wave the price already has broken very significant swing low which is a high liquidity zone and if we look at closely we can see the price is heading to this another support level where there is a gap opening and with another gap opening here as well we might see on gbp usd some kind of reaction from this level and that is the zone that will be waiting for an entry i think that gbp usd initially with the strengthening on dxy if we draw this dxy curve here this pattern we can expect an upside initially and then coming down breaking the swing low and then we can expect a close on the weekly and monthly dodgy now if we look at this zone here on the weekly on gbp usd with the strengthening on dxy we can expect gbp usd to come back down breaking this low where there is a, a gap open there's a huge liquidity and with that liquidity while we will see the weakness on dxy we can expect gbp usd to have a strong reaction from this level and what i think that if we take our fibonacci from the weekly perspective from high to the low we could see that gbp usd respecting this 38.2 percent fibonacci level which is the minimum fibonacci zone and also which is just above this weekly high and i think that as you can see there is an imbalance in that area this is a fair value gap now if we look at this weekly zone here in that area on gbp usd we can see that the market already feel that imbalance tested this support as a resistance has come back down here and then has gone back up but the price didn't test this level there is an imbalance in that area with the monthly close we might see while the the buyers will start to buy or the sellers will start to close their position we could see a strong reaction in the middle or at the end of the week for gbpsd to go back up to fill that imbalance and before the monthly close we could see gbpsd coming back down which might give gu a long week green candle or long week dodgy in that area so if we look at the daily and even the lower time frame for this potential opportunity what i think that on the market opening we can expect gbpsd to come down to fill that zone from this zone to have a very strong reaction and breaking the high this is where we see this imbalance the fair value gap that we saw on the weekly we might see a very strong movement breaking the high and before the monthly close we can expect gbpsd to drop and even to continue to drop or even break it later next month to move up further so this is the zone this week could be a very important area especially for selling after breaking the high but in that zone as you can see there is a, a liquidity here any kind of strong reversal pattern can give us buying opportunity on gbp usd this week as soon as you will find suitable and you will consider going long and short based on the plan with our students with a high probability trade setup now let's look at dollar cad now as if we draw this our dxy potential curve we can see this um, pattern to the upside an initial bullish move and then breaking the low and then going back up to close before the monthly as weekly dodgy now if we look at dollar cad we can see that with the initial strengthening on dxy we can expect dollar cad to go back up to breaking the high 
which might give a strengthening on dollar CAD. And then with the weakness on the XY, we can expect dollar CAD to come back down to breaking all this low to create any lower low or to create to break any of the swing low. And before the monthly close, we can expect the XY to go back up. So for our trading opportunity, we will be waiting for the swing high to be broken, which is a high liquidity zone for a potential selling opportunity this week. And any of this swing low, especially this lower low is broken, we will look for buying opportunity as soon as we will find suitable entry and pattern based on the rule of rules of our strategies on dollar CAD. Now let's look at gold to see what it is doing. Now as you have seen this week, that last week was incredible on gold. Uh, we had quite a few winning trades on gold as well. Now let's quickly look at this week, what kind of opportunity we have. I'll be looking at on gold from the market time frame perspective to see overall direction in the market. Now from the monthly looking at on gold, we can see that this is the monthly candle. And as you can see that this month's gold was high and low is in between this zone and this is the month last week of the month and what i think that on gold initially we can expect a drop and then going back up to retest this monthly high or monthly resistance zone and from that zone we can expect gold to come back down to close in that area exactly opposite direction of dxy now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective there is a weekly dodgy that is a long week candle. Now, as you can see, back to back two weekly dodges on gold. And here we see that this week there was a stronger reaction on gold. Now, with that rejection, what I think that initially we, with the we strengthening of DXY, we might see gold is coming down. And in that drop, we could see that gold is breaking the previous weekly low. And from that zone, we can expect gold to have another bounce to the upside. And on the monthly close, we can expect almost in the same zone as the previous weekly close. If we look at the daily time frame, to see, we can see that from the daily perspective, gold has, there was a very sharp drop from here, followed by this pullback. And last day of trading, gold has formed a weekly candle with a long week at the top. And I think that this week we might see initial drop breaking this daily low and below this weekly candle there is a huge liquidity and from that zone we can expect again gold to go back up to create a new higher high. Now if you draw this weekly low and this daily support we can see potential level that we can look for potential trading opportunity now from the four hour perspective to see how gold is doing now in this time frame we can see that gold has last day of trading week there's a quite a few liquidity gap in this this is the last review sessions candle which is a bearish candle with uh breaking of both of these dodges high has got rejected now if we draw our dxy trajectory we can see that initial upside that we are expecting breaking the low and then going back up around the zone to close as a weekly dodge now if we reflect it on gold completely in a mirror way with this uh, strengthening on dxy we can expect gold to come back down and with that drop what i think that gold is highly likely to break this swing low and below this low there is a huge liquidity and with that liquidity grab, with the weakness on DXY, we can expect gold to go back up to create a new higher high. Highly likely we could see a potential head and shoulder formation with a long week candle. Along this zone, we can expect gold to come back down before the monthly close in that zone to close as a monthly red dodgy or even the monthly candle, what we see here, almost in the same zone we can expect a close so for our trading opportunity let's look at lower time frame to see where this week we might find trading opportunity on gold to for our um, entry opportunity now if we look at the one hour chart we can see a bit more clearer picture so initially we are expecting with the strengthening on dxy gold to be weaker now what we see here on the one hour chart gold has formed a double top 
and there was a rejection here the price is forming a local bearish channel this is the one hour channel and highly likely that with the market opening we might see initial reaction to the upside forming a long week candle which is highly likely to happen on the one hour chart and then coming back down to this level to create a new lower low especially below this level there is a high liquidity which is also the weekly or daily weekly scandal this is where we see this below the daily low and what i think that with that long week or any kind of reaction creating a false breakout to the upside we could see a drop on gold and my first trade will be i will be waiting for any kind of selling entry opportunity after any kind of false breakout to the upside gathering liquidity i will look for selling on gold to this level where there is a high liquidity and along the zone based on the price section confirmation if we see that gold is showing significant bullish trading opportunity i'll look for buying on gold and with that movement if we see that gold again has broken any of this high especially this level which is the 1930 break will give us another selling opportunity in the middle of the week along the zone as soon as i will see that suitable entry will consider going short on gold with a high probability trade setup with our students now if you want to trade gold euro dollar gbp usd all the instrument that we are trading in forex trading wizard academy you can join us today there is a link below this video you can click join now button on the website and you will be able to access all the things that we have in forex trading wizard academy so let's look at now jpy pairs let's see what kind of trading opportunity currently we have now looking at dollar yen first of all to see how it is doing now dollar yen from the monthly perspective we see that this is a long-term bullish market every month the price was creating series of higher high and higher low, which is a long-term bull market and if we look at this monthly candlestick pattern we see the dollar yen is still maintaining bullish pattern which is a very strong bullish momentum now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective dollar yen quite a few weeks strong liquidity trigger this week has formed another bullish candle and i think that as this is the monthly close coming we could see the dollar yen this week coming down for a deeper pullback and we could see initially drop breaking any of this low before going back up to close as a weekly dodgy or a bullish candle now if we look at the daily we can see that dollar yen from the daily perspective as this week was a very uh, volatile for jpy the price with this long week red candle there is a clear false breakout and with this green candle dollar yen has gone back up and i think that dollar yen might come back down again to grab another liquidity as the price has this unusual move there is still imbalance in that zone there is still huge liquidity now with the drop we could see that dollar yen is breaking this low or breaking this low before the monthly close going back up now if we look at find the lower time frame on the intraday perspective now if we draw the trajectory on dxy we are expecting initial upside and then breaking all this low and then going back up before the monthly close or weekly close as a doji on dxy now if we reflect it on dollar yen we can expect with the strengthening on dxy initial upside breaking all this high and then coming back down with the weakness on dxy we can expect dollar yen to come back down to create a new lower low and below this level there is a huge liquidity and before the monthly close so you can expect go back up and with that upside we can expect the dollar yen either to create a new higher high or to range in that area so as it is a very strongly bull market i will be waiting for a bullish trading opportunity any break of this low below this low will give us suitable bullish trading opportunity on dollar yen as soon as we will find suitable and you will consider going long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gbp jpy looking at the monthly time frame to see overall direction in the market now from the monthly we can see that gj 
it is a long-term bull market as well every month the price is creating series of higher high and higher low now this month we have seen the gbp jpy created series of lower high and then had a strong drop still the market is maintaining series of higher low but we see that in that area on gj what we see that the price now trying to break the low and we can expect gj to come back down to create a new lower low now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective on gj this is the long week weekly middleman that has completely broken from this structure and gbp jpy what we can expect in this market for the price after a little pullback what i think that the price may continue to drop now if you look at this overall market structure on gbp jpy what do we see that there are if we apply the elliot wave in this in this time frame on the weekly we saw that here there was a channel this is a bullish channel on gj and with this red doji we have seen that gbp jpy has broken out of this structure now we have seen that there is a first wave pullback second wave deeper pullback and second wave is biggest in all of them so one two and we see the third wave is also the smaller and what we see now if we apply the Elliott wave as we see this pattern is recognizing with that we can expect for the price to come back down to break the swing low this low which can give a very high probability that gj coming down and breaking this swing low to create a new lower low so there is a probability for gbp jpy to remain bearish in this zone now if we look at the daily time frame we can see that gj from this bullish channel has broken with this red candle and last day of trading with a very weak response from the buyers giving a very high probability for gbp jpy to respect this daily high and to create a new lower low like this is the daily doji if we look at this daily doji we can see that there is a if we consider 50 percent of this daily doji we can expect for the market to go up test this level and then to create a new lower low now if we look at this four hour time frame on gj we can see that the market had a big drop followed by consolidation in that area and we can expect for the price to go ahead and test this level and from that zone we can expect for the price to come down to continue towards its downtrending direction to create a new lower low as you can see there is a long week handle here and we can expect gj to come back down to feel that imbalance and also to create a new lower low so along this zone any kind of liquidity graph will give us suitable entry opportunity on gbp jpy we'll consider going short with a high probability catch up with our students now let's look at gbp cad now in all of them we could have seen that G gbp cad had a very sharp drop on now if we look at this weekly time frame on gbp cad we can see that from the weekly perspective this is a sharp drop on gbp cad now this market if we look at on the you know trending perspective we see that gbp cad is in fact a bull market now if you look at this this pattern here we see that gbp cad maintaining this support level for longer period of time and this long term bullish market is broken completely opposite direction of the trend and we see that the price has broken all these swing low and it's a completely unusual breakdown i think that this week as we are expecting gbp to be uh, to be a little bit of bullish against uh, the xy uh, against dollar and, and majority of the pair we can expect gbp had to go up and break the weekly low there is a high probability for gbp cad to go up for a deeper pullback this is the impulse on gbp cad if we take our fibonacci from the starting of this impulse to the end of the impulse we can expect the price to go up to test this 38.2 percent fibonacci level which is also above the weekly high so if we draw this daily time frame to see on gbp cad we can see that this is a very sharp drop on gbp cad with no decent pullback and has broken all this swing low 
there is a high probability for GBP CAD now to go up for a deeper pullback at least to this level that can give us suitable bullish trading opportunity on the lower time frame if we look at the four hour we can see that from this lower time frame on GBP CAD is the price slowly trying to create a pattern this is where I will be waiting especially even on the one hour chart to see whenever GBP CAD giving a suitable entry opportunity along the zone for this potential bullish momentum we will consider going long on GBP CAD with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at US 30 and NASDAQ let's see what kind of trading opportunity kind of we have now looking at US 30 we can see that from the monthly perspective US 30 previous months from this red candle with the long week at the bottom now this month we have seen that us 30 initially has gone back up and then got rejected strongly now with that strength on us 30 we can see that the price this is the monthly candle and before the monthly close uh, if we draw the trajectory on dxy we can see that initially you're expecting to the to be bullish to come back down again to create a new lower low and then to go back up to close in that area now if we see reflected on on us 30 completely in a mirrored manner we can expect with the strengthening on dxy weakness on uh, us 30 breaking this monthly low as this is a high liquidity zone with the weakness on dxy we can expect and strengthening on us 30 and monthly close somewhere here as a bearish candle with a long week handle now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective there is a bearish candle has broken all this low i think that this week we might see initial further drop and that drop could be bring the price to below this support level breaking this low after gathering liquidity we can expect in the middle of the week a reaction to the upside and closing somewhere here as a weekly doji now if we look at the daily time frame we can see that from the daily perspective the us 30 is currently in a downtrend and we will be waiting for potential selling opportunity until break of this support level now from the further lower time frame we can see that us 30 maintaining a local downtrending market structure any liquidity gap along the zone will look for selling opportunity on us 30 as we are expecting to break on this support level to create a new lower low upon break of the support any kind of bullish trading opportunity will look for buying on us 30 and these are the zones that you will look for potential trading opportunity on us 30 as soon as you will find suitable entry now looking at nasdaq exactly the same way we see that from the monthly nasdaq was in a very strong bullish momentum and we have seen that with this strong bullish move this market coming down for a deeper pullback now if we take our fibonacci from low to the high we can see the nasdaq is about to retrace to 38.2 percent fibonacci level now if we look at our dxy trajectory we are expecting initial strengthening and then breaking the low and then going back up to close as a weekly dodgy now if we look at on nasdaq if we mirror we can see that initial strengthening on dxy can give us weakness on nasdaq that could lead the price to break the low to coming back to this 38.2 percent fibonacci level and what i think that before the monthly close you could see the price is breaking this low where there is a high liquidity and and then we can expect in later with the weakness on dxy and as that to go back up breaking this high coming back down here as a monthly close with a long week candle now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that from the weekly perspective nasdaq currently approaching this support and below this level and above this doji there is a high liquidity and we can expect on nasdaq for the price to come back down to break the low and from this zone we can expect for the price to go back up to create a new higher high now if we look at the daily time frame we can see that from the daily perspective there is a long week doji in that area on nasdaq and there's a sharp drop and i think that on the market opening we can expect for the price to respect this daily high and 
from that zone initial drop is expected now if we take 50 percent of this daily doji we can expect on nasdaq to go back up and test and then to continue to drop now if we look at further lower time frame we can see the nasdaq already has broken this swing high and there is a high liquidity now in this momentum on the market opening we can expect a pull back to the upside and then to go back down to this support level that we are expecting in the market opening this is where i will be waiting for potential selling opportunity on nasdaq to this level any break of this low after a strong uh, reversal pattern we can look for buying opportunity on nasdaq to this level that we are expecting as soon as we will find suitable entry we will consider going short with a high probability trade setup with our students now if you want to trade all of them that we are trading today you can join the link below this video in the description area you can visit the website and then click join now button then you will be able to join to trade with us and also to learn the strategy that we are trading now let's quickly look at wti before we wrap up now wti we can see that if we look at the monthly time frame the market is it is a strongly bull market at the same time this market already hitting another monthly resistance zone and before the monthly close i think the wti bulls might try to create another higher high above this level and then we can expect before the monthly close coming down closing as a half week half body monthly candle now if we look at the weekly time frame we can see that this is a weekly bullish price section with this strong impulse followed by a smaller correction another impulse and there is a we see the weekly doji and this is the resistance line what i think that from the weekly perspective the price to come down and to go back up to create a new higher high and then we can expect for the price to come down to create a new lower low now if we look at the daily time frame on wti we can see that from the daily perspective this market already is in a very strong bullish momentum i think that on the market opening we can expect for the price to come down breaking this low and then go back up to create a new higher high before the monthly close we can expect for wti to come back down to create a new lower low now if we look at further lower time frame we can see that there is a swing low here and which is also the daily low i think that on the market opening we can expect for the price to come down breaking the low and from that zone we can expect for the price to go back up to create a new higher high before the monthly close so you can expect wti to come back down so this is the zone that you can look for trading opportunity any break of this swing low can give us suitable entry opportunity for this bullish move and on the market on the monthly resistance broken we can expect for wti to give us suitable entry opportunity for this move to the downside so as soon as we will find suitable entry we will consider going long and short based on the plan for this week in addition to this any pairs giving us suitable entry opportunity definitely we will be looking to enter and i'll keep you updated guys with live analysis in the live session as well make sure you like this analysis and also subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified for everything that i am posting every single day i strongly believe that guys you enjoyed this analysis and i'll see you soon again in the next analysis